Okay. Uh, my batteries are Hello. fully charged. State of charge at 100%. And let's go to meters. However, we're still absorbing. And we are over the amp hours. Means the batteries are fully charged and this is extra power is going to whatever we have to use without putting stress on the batteries. I'm sorry, it was this one. We are at plus 16 input, output, and powers. And that video that I made about an hour or two ago, uh, yeah, about two hours ago, shows that we're fully charged and we have this much power available. We go to meter. We have zero load on the inverter side but we have loads that the inverter doesn't register on the 12 volt usage side which are the, the LED lights that I'm using at the moment through the 24 to 12 volt converter to charge up the cell phones, laptops, or whatever you have. And this is the output reading of the converter, but 13.10 volts. And these are the amps we're drawing, but two or three amps. So what we have, I have a por portable LG air conditioning it's 12,000 BTU that I use in my bedroom so I don't have to use the big gas guzzler commercial 5 ton heating air conditioning and there are the specs over here on it Cooling capacity, 12,000 BTU. Input, 1.27 watts. Voltage, 115 at 60 hertz. Amps, 11.5. One phase. And the other information that we have. So I'm going to connect... The watt meter to my available magnum inverters output that's about 30 amps and the specs on this watt meter is maximum voltage 125 maximum current 15 amp Maximum power, 1,875 watts, which this LG is, our, is in the parameters, so you won't damage this little guy. And I've connected my DC amp meter on the positive side of the magnus sign and we'll be reading the readings so let me connect the 
air conditioning and this watt meter and we'll check up the readings both on the solar charger the magnum and the watt meter so stand by please all right i connected the amp reader to the positive side of the magnum inverter and at the moment it's reading 1.9 amps but 2 amps basically we have zero those are the readings for for the refrigerator the adapter for Alexa and the garage door opener with the light on and other parasite loads so also I have connected the the watt reader you have 0 0.2 amps because the air conditioning has electronic circuit so there is some parasite readings there go to watts we have about 2 watts hertz about 60 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start the 12,000 BTU air conditioning and see what our reading is gonna be Here's the amp reading, but 8.2 amps. That's draw from the batteries from the inverter. And the compressor kicked in. We have about 30, 32 amps. And DC amps are at I guess it's going to go up to whatever the amp requirements were on the air conditioning. I don't remember what it was. It was 11 and a half amps. I hope you can see. We are absorbing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And batteries are charging, so mostly the solar system, the solar panels are providing the power to the air conditioning without using the batteries. We're drawing about 40 amps from the magnum inverter and that power directly comes from the solar panels at the moment
you go to state of charge we're at hundred percent battery volts DC amps that's amp hour so we have extra but 10 amps that we were using that's amp hours and if we're on the plus side of amp hours input at plus 53 and so far we use about 18 hundred amp hours out from the batteries total amp hours out is 4.2 kilos that's 4200 amp hours out So you see we are running just on the solar panels providing power to the inverter. And we are absorbing, charging the batteries. I'm going to check the temperature of the output of the air conditioning. I set it at 70, I don't know if you can see it. And the ambient temperature here is 75, 74. Let's check the output. Check the temperature of the exhaust. About 110 degrees of the unit output. Temperature in the garage is 71 degrees Fahrenheit. And the inverter is handling it good. We go to the temperature readings on the Magnum. Battery temperature sensor 75, transformer 123, FET is 98, 100, I don't have automatic gas start so That's the amp, total amps drawn from the, the inverter, the, from the battery, by the inverter.
100% charge. They're at 30.6 volts on the batteries. And that's the amp hour extra that we have. And that's how much amp hour we're making. And we're running on the panels. All right. Hope you guys like it.